when we optimize our SQL queries, we're making them more efficient. And we do that to improve performance and reduce response time so we get our results faster, and also to conserve resources and save money. Those are some of the goals of optimization. Now, to explain why this is so important, let's imagine we're cutting down a tree. Let's use this as an example. And as we do this, the right tool is going to make all the difference. So we could cut down that tree with an axe or with a hammer. With an axe, it might only take 30 minutes. With a hammer, though, it could take literally 30 days of us just banging on that tree. In this scenario, the tool makes all the difference. It's the same thing with our SQL queries. We need the right query or tool for the job. We're looking for efficiency. Now, let me talk about a few optimization tips that might be helpful as you work to make your queries more efficient. And so I'll walk through these at a summary level, and I'll go through them in more detail in just a minute. So select only the columns you need. That's the first tip. Use limit to preview your query results. Use wildcards only at the end of a phrase. Avoid select distinct if you can. And then run large queries during off-peak hours. Let me explain each of these in a little bit more detail, and I'll show you an example too. So select only the columns you need. If we're querying unnecessary data, that's going to consume more resources than we need to. So in this example, maybe instead of using select star, go with select name, age, and city, if that's all that we really need. Then use limit to preview your query results. When you first run a query, it might be helpful to just look at a few records to see if the results are what you expected. And you could use limit to do that. And depending on your database, it may be limit or top. So select name from customers, limit it to 50 results, or select top 50 customer name from the customer's table. So it could be limit or top. And then use wildcards only at the end of a phrase. So if you have wildcards in your where clause, what you'd like to do is to kind of keep that at the end, which is on the right, because wildcards generate wide searches. And it's really the widest search possible if you've got those wildcards at the beginning and the end of a phrase. Then avoid select distinct if you can. And without going into too much detail, this requires lots of processing power, so it groups your results. So instead of using select distinct, you might just select enough fields to give you the unique results that you're looking for. And then finally, run large queries during off-peak hours to minimize impact to others. So typically while people are sleeping, maybe that's 2 to 5 a.m. So here's a summary. Select only the columns you need. Use limit to preview your query results. Use wildcards only at the end of a phrase. Avoid select distinct if you can. And then run large queries during off-peak hours. Here's just a few examples of optimization tips that can be helpful as you work to make your queries more efficient. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.